how can we solve the module not found error in Python? Well, the answer is very simple. You might have noticed in a tutorial that we have to import some sort of package and that the module is actually underlined in red. And that essentially means that we did not import it correctly and it cannot be found in the project. In general, you just need to go to the terminal and type in pip install whatever package you are missing and the program is going to take care of the rest. But this can be a bit more tricky depending on which code editor you decide to use. Because if you go to Visual Studio Code, for example, and you go ahead and create a new file called main.py, and you attempt to open the terminal, which should be somewhere in here, and you go ahead and type in pip install requests, you'll notice that we're going to get the error that the command was not found for pip. So we still cannot use it and we want to actually use this request module. So what we actually have to do is create a virtual environment. On macOS, we can use Python 3-m virtual environment dot virtual environment. And on Windows, you can use Python m virtual environment dot virtual environment. So we're going to have to create this first. So inside here, we'll go ahead and type in Python 3-m virtual environment dot virtual environment. And this is going to create a virtual environment for us in the folder that we specified. Now, it's also important that we actually use that virtual environment. So you should get a notification down at the bottom that says, do you want to use this virtual environment? And you just go ahead and click on yes, and it's going to change it to the virtual environment. And that's going to allow us to create a new terminal. So go ahead and click on the plus, and this time you'll notice that we're inside the virtual environment. So we can go ahead and type in pip install requests. And this time it's actually going to allow us to do it. So now we can go ahead and type in import requests and it's going to be there. And if we actually try to do something such as request, it's going to equal requests.get. And here we can go ahead and type in https double dot double slash www.google.com and print the request. And if we go ahead and run it, it should actually work this time. So you can see we got a response of 200 and we can also print some other stuff inside there, such as the content, which is much more useful. So if we run that, it's going to give us back all of this code that has to do with Google. So we actually managed to cover both the module not found and the pip command not found error in this lesson. And as a personal recommendation, if you're just getting started with Python, I definitely recommend you use PyCharm. It makes this a lot more easier than Visual Studio Code. Although I feel that you have a lot more flexibility with Visual Studio Code if you decide to actually get used to it.